Hey everyone, John here from the Deers Embroidery Legacy and in this How to Do Doodler installment we're going to show you how to troubleshoot bringing artwork into the design doodler. Now if you like these videos make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so that you'll be notified every time we release a new video. So what do you do if you're trying to import a PNG or JPEG into the Design Doodler and it just doesn't show up? And I, I should mention also that this isn't something that is specifically happening just with Design Doodler. I have this happen periodically with the digitizing software that I use every day to create my designs as well as other programs that I've played with. And I'm not sure exactly what it is about the JPEG or PNG, but the software just doesn't like it. And this is the solution that I found for pretty much every program when I have that situation arise. Generally when I successfully bring in my artwork I'll just click on the import artwork I can bring it in and I'll choose my artwork which I get a little preview for here on my iPad it's a similar thing on the PC version and if I click on it on my iPad it'll give me a preview and it'll tell me the size of the file and if I hit use it'll bring it in and I can turn that on or off with the little button here that's beside it to display the artwork if I ever input artwork and I can't see it, but the screen did kind of change, that means that I have to click that button and it'll turn it back on. If I call up a new window and I bring in my artwork, and this time I'll bring in the exact same image, but this one I know uh, doesn't work because I tried it and it didn't work so I changed it, I can hit the button and you're going to see that nothing happened. And no matter how many times I try to bring in that artwork, it will not uh, be brought into the software and that little eye beside it won't become highlighted. So if that does happen and you're unable to import your artwork, what you're going to do is you're going to go into the files that you downloaded and we're going to resave them within a program built into your um, PC like paint and I'll show you exactly what I do and it seems to rectify it every single time. So if you're having any problems with your artwork installing into the doodler or your digitizing program you're just going to call up your artwork in your regular Windows environment and I'm going to double click on the image I couldn't load and that will bring it up full screen onto your computer. Now while I'm hovering over the center of the artwork, I, instead of left clicking, I'm going to right click and I have a little menu drop down that says open with. I'm going to click on that button and then I have paint. And generally I just open it with paint. It'll come up. That's a program that's installed within your PC. And if I look at the size, it's 1.7 megabytes. That would be fine to bring in. It's not an overly large file. So I could bring that in, keeping in mind that I'm going to resize it down from 30 inches or whatever size it comes into the doodler. I'm going to resize it down to, you know, six or seven or eight inches or three inches if it's left chest. But if I want to save that straight out, I can save it. Or if my file is overly large, sometimes you bring in a JPEG that could be like you know 30 or 40 megabytes that is a little excessive for a design that you're actually going to doodle then I would go in and resize it and I can resize the design just you know make it 50 percent the size it will maintain the aspect ratio and it will make that design smaller when when I go to save it out which I'll go file save as and I can save it as whatever file extension I want a JPEG or a PNG then when I save it and I call it whatever I call it it'll save that file out and you can see that it's now actually 771 kilobytes so it reduced the size of the file it resaved it if there was you know transparency or anything else assigned that might have been giving me problems trying to import it into the doodler I shouldn't have those problems now and I should be ready to go so I hope this was a helpful tip for all you doodlers and for you digitizers out there who have had issues trying to bring in artwork sometimes and it just won't load into your software.